Not very happy, everyone. Not very happy. I come to you with news, very bad news from the Death Grips front. I have not uh, mentioned this or admitted this uh, yet on any of my socials, but uh, for months now, I have been going to pretty much every recent live show uh, during you know this new Death Grips tour that the uh, band has been on. It's been going great. It's been going amazing it's been going swimmingly it's been going incredible it's been going it's been going it's been going it's been going <gasps> and yeah i just haven't really been home all that much um because uh, i've just been out on the road i've recorded pretty much all the content that you guys have been watching like months in advance just so i could dedicate the time necessary to see every death grips performance because i don't want to miss a single one I'm the biggest Death Grips fan on the planet that is unchallenged by anyone. I literally started a YouTube channel where I review Death Grips albums and it became so popular. I, I just started reviewing other music on the channel. It's youtube.com slash the needle drop. Check it out. You know, it could even have potential to surpass what we do on this channel, which is like, you know, obviously mostly dedicated to Magic the Gathering. And I know there's a lot of negativity on my music reviews so far because people just, you know, they want they want to. They want to box me in. They want to put a pigeon in my hole. Just talk about warlocks, man. Hit points. And I mean, I know about all that stuff, but you know, I, I like music too. I like some music. You know, Bozart, Beethoven. Yeah, you know, I like all that stuff. Well, anyway, because I like the classics so much, uh, that is why I've gotten so deeply and heavily in to Death Grips to the point where I'm just like seeing all their shows, all their performances all their everything and i was having a great time seeing every performance just seeing them kill it every night out there on the road until just just the other night where they played in philly this was going to be the show man i was like really anticipating this was the, this was going to be the show where the band went hardest and and did their darndest for a good part of the night that was actually the case and i was actually even in the pit i, I made a rare pit appearance at this show usually i don't like to kind of you know out myself uh in the pit because um you know there's obviously a lot of death grips fans that watch my stuff um you know and, and honestly like i'm a little afraid of you guys some of you guys in the death grips fandom are on like you know a couple of watch lists or two and you know as a result of that I, I'm, I'm just hesitant to make myself known, you know, at, the, at these sorts of events. So anyway, with that being said, I was at the show in the pit having a great time. That is until I slipped, I slipped in the pit and this wasn't any sort of like normal sl slip. I'm from new England. I'm a veteran of the hardcore scene. I've thrown down. I've crowd killed. I've been crowd killed. I've I've killed at least a dozen crowds. And I've fallen in pits before and I've picked people back up before who've fallen in the pit, but this was not this was not your normal pit fall. No, I slipped and there was like some moisture to this slip. And I didn't realize just how much moisture there was until like I fell backwards into the floor and just like came came rushing over me this like pool of liquid one second ago i was on solid land and then before you know it like i'm fighting against the waves like my clothes are soaked i'm doing the dog paddle i'm struggling to keep my head above water and you know thank god somebody there at the death grip show i mean if you've been to death grip shows before you know people bring in all sorts sorts of crazy stuff you know propeller hats and anime the fans are a little eccentric they bring in all sorts of stuff but this one guy thank god had a lifesaver and he threw it uh out at me and i grabbed it and they, they pulled me in to shore and when i made it on dry land i was like oh my god thank god what what happened what was that i was just dripping from head to toe i looked back at where i had fallen back and it's like i looked there and then and then the pungent smell hit me and I realized I put two and two together. Someone peed in the pit. Someone at the Death Grip show in Philly peed in the pit area with urine. And look, again, and I know the Death Grips fandom is a little weird, but like, I, I, I did not in a million years expect this. This was a disappointment. This is quite possibly the lowest and saddest day 
for the Death Grips community. This is like a level of depravity that I never expected uh, the Death Grips fandom to reach. It's just like a little sad and a little worrisome because like, you know, I, I knew the Death Grips fandom had like deviance in it. You know, I mean, that kind of seems like the the core appeal of the band's music. But like, with that being said, can't the fandom be cool, like filled with cool deviants and stuff like spies and, um, you know, dark ninjas and, and hackers and stuff? Why can't it be those kind of cool people who are like, ooh, they're cool. They're do they're doing stuff on the dark web. Uh, but this guy, this guy's claim to fame is just going pee pee in public. It's with that, that I say like pit pisser. That's, that's obviously, I mean, I, that's how we can refer to the guy pit pisser. We're going to find you. And when we find you, oh boy, when we find you, we're going to make you fall into your own pool of pee. And then you'll be all peed up with your own pee. I'm actually going to email death grips about this right now. And they're going to write a song just for you called pool of piss. Frankly, sir, your little urinary stunt was hurtful and disgusting and damaging to my reputation personally and publicly before when people uh, saw me at the show, they were like, Hey man, love your reviews. Every opinion you give is amazing and perfect. And I've never heard you ever give a bad take on anything. That's like what everybody was saying to me. And by the time I was leaving the death grip show, everybody was like, Anthony P. Tano, you smell like pee pee. Which also when I got home to my three wives and seven children, uh, they were also saying that because they were like watching what was going on in, on the death grip subreddit before I got home. And they saw all the footage and all the pictures of me covered in pee. And it's, it's still difficult to be taken seriously around here because of you. So I hereby kick pee pee man out of the death grips fandom. That is my final call. My, I have final say on that. Never ever. Are you going to pee in this town again?